The thing with Too Faced people is you can never really trust them to have your back. Never mind what they could also be saying behind it. How to spot them. Watch their social cues. Generally, they will be super friendly and you will get the feeling that you are amazing around them. And let's say, for example, you've bought a gift for their daughter's birthday and it's the best thing ever. It's amazing. It's, you know, um, this person will go on, on and on and on. And then when you get home, there's a post on the internet, Facebook. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, Rachel, let's say, for example, really enjoyed her present. There's a picture. Okay. Now, what you want to look for here is bragging. It's not a compliment. What you want to look for is the bragging. It's, ah, oh, that was amazing. Thank you so much. I, I went, you put chocolate pudding. There was the best. Thank you. Now, you know, I mean, as nice as this is to hear, but the difference is you need to realise when it's real and when it's fake okay and when it's fake it is more like bragging and yeah that's that is definitely a sign also and um, this is um this is with people who are who uh is you ever notice when they smile they don't engage a smile like this you know where you can see it it's like yeah I suppose yeah you know it's that half assed smile like Say, for example, if you've called your best mate up and said, guess what, I've passed my driving test. And they'll be so happy and excited and they'll ask you to swing by or go out in it, go up in or something like that. Whereas, a careless person would be like, oh, you pass your test, oh. Well, don't smash it up then, will you? You know, that it probably means that they are careless because they've all always wanted to have a car, yet they don't, you know. So that is another thing watch out for who. Also, they may tell you that a dress looks awesome on you and you are rocking just a plain white t-shirt. Thing is, which I have mentioned, you've got to know the if between a compliment that is genuine or somebody telling you what you want to hear.
because this is how people, some people can manipulate it because they are told exactly what they want to hear. Like, oh, you're so beautiful. Oh, get out of here. Oh, come on, look at that top, it's amazing. Oh, yes, of course it is. And then they know that they have you. It's compliments are good, but you have to know the difference and the cues when then art and when they are oh it's evident. So say that you've bought a dress and you've gone to your auntie's sixtieth and you know and you look gorgeous you look amazing and there's a person wearing that exact same dress and you're like oh guess what you know i mean you've got the same dress on and they're like yeah they probably it's not the fact that you've turned up in that dress they probably think well that looks better on her than Hey, I'm gonna be a bitch to wear. How dare she wear something and look better in it than me? And now, once you know these people's games, you have two choices. You can associate yourself with them or you can take the attitude of I can never be too faced if I don't like someone they won't know about it if you associate yourself with these people be aware people link you by association and that's not good either. Or you can go for a secret option number three. And this is, you know, their game. You know what they are like. You will be friendly towards them. However, you keep your distance. Because especially if you have to work with them or any social setting where you can't avoid them but you, you know when you go home or the weekend or whatever and you don't have to deal with them so I'm saying you can be friendly if you will wish you don't have to be cold or whatever especially if that's not in your nature but you don't take lunches together or invite them out out of working hours and you do not want to tell them your business at all also okay if you are a naturally friendly person and people gravitate to you they actually might make clear that they don't like you it would be like being at school all over again um, and they aren't getting enough attention and they have to look good and guess what they have to manipulate you this is why oh, originally it is best to stay clear of um, because you will end up coming out of it on the raw end of the deal. I know because they are very good 
manipulated those uh, rumours. They are in only careless of you getting a promotion that they're going to do everything they can to make sure you don't get it and they do. It's because tooth with tooth face people and jealousy they tend to come hand in hand they want to be on top and when they are not on top they will do stuff yes they do and you know i mean i am art and Eve, there are people who will be happy that you have a job promotion, but then there are people who are not going to be happy, who, if they can, will sabotage your success. So when you are dealing with these people, Never, ever, ever give any personal information out. Keep conversations with these people polite. Don't invite any drama. Never tell them, especially at, especially at school or the workforce even, what all your and you actually like and be prepared to take the high road because when you take the high road that makes them look crap be because if you went on and went on and told them well you did this to me you did that to me, you know, and bringing up past hurts will only make them an eye, an eye, an eye. And you're not going to win in that argument. As you grow up and realise who your true mates actually are, you will notice how these mates of yours will treat you completely differently. They will, they will care enough about you. They will, they will actually be kind to your feelings and perhaps a bit hacked. Oh, but they will tell you the truth. That is when you know that they have you. And especially if you hear that, you know, they are lo loyal. Because then you will know that they will have your back and would never do anything to hurt you or anything like that. The difference is with two-faced people, okay, if they like you, they will like you for your image. My auntie, I don't know, when I tend to go out and I go to a birthday or a, a wedding or something like that, I always come with my husband and I'm always with my family like my mom, my dad, my nan. However, my sister is never at that table or with us. Nope. My sister is in the other section of the room. My sister is in the other section where people are incredibly up themselves. I'm sorry to say that, but 
I'll, you know, um, so I'll be in the pest height arrests that sh sh show off their curves, their bodies, and they'll they'll have a habit of sort of looking down at you if you happen to walk past. But see, the thing is, when people do that, I just, I just ignore it and carry on. Nobody's going to tell me what to do if I want to talk to my sister who is at that table. I'm going to talk to her. Now, I'm not saying that I get looked down on. I, well, especially if well, you know, I mean, I hope I don't because I think of myself as a fashionable person, but if I don't look the part, which I could do if, that, if I really wanted to, if I looked the part, if I dressed the part, if I acted the part, then maybe I might get a seat next to my sister and all the other girls. But then I just, but for a long time I've actually thought I am real. I am authentic and I don't want to be labelled as too faced or fake.